So we've already cut down the paper and here we've uh, taped down the acetate of the drawing to our paper sheet just so we can we can kind of uh, have it lined up where we want it to end up on the paper. And what we're going to do is just kind of position the image by looking through the screen under underneath. Once it's lined up, then I've just cut some uh, map board chips which will be used along the on along two sides of the print and we'll just butt them right against the edge side and the bottom and then just tape those down and you got the last if you won't blow you got it. if you won't blow you got it. and then we're going to remove the acetate And now our paper is in place with the stops in place for printing the addition. So we're going to put a nice bead of ink along the whole top edge of the image. You want to lift the screen up just off the paper. Take a good amount of your ink and you want to flood the entire image. Once it's, once it's flooded, then lay it down onto the paper, make sure it's still squared up correctly. And you want to hold the squeegee at about a 45 degree angle, press down, and pull all the way through. And there we have it. We're going to re-flood the image so that the uh, ink doesn't dry out. So we're just making uh, our second color for this print and I've just put some uh, matte, matte clear base into a container and um, this is the f fluorescent uh, pigment which will get mixed. So we've just put the, the print back down underneath the screen. It was already lined up with our stops here. So we're about to print the second color, which will be just at the bottom of the print here. We're going to have to tape off the bottom of this so that none of our ink from the second color passes through the image. First we flood the area we're going to print. Lay it down on the print. Print it. There you have it. Two color print. <laughs>